Like Barley's like Also that, another yeah. note I fuck Eli Apple Smoking that Eli Apple pack Oh my days Yeah he got Who? Yeah, Super Bowl Eli Super Apple Bowl. pack Eli Apple. I call that cat attack <laughs> Nah he Spoken was Smoking um, Bengals bro What was it He was like He's, like, he's the first um, corner In how long To give up two touchdowns In the Super Bowl Sound like that yeah He got He's just not very good And he talks bears bro He's not good He's not good He's one of those He's one of those corners Where he's so bad The scheme can't even save him mm. He's just not good Horrible right. His technique is bad He's got stiff hips Like He's got bad play recognition. He's just, he's just not, he's just not good. He's just not a good football player. Right. Like, but Super Bowl. You might watch the Super Bowl. I watched them um, first half, and but then after, Fair sleep. After the halftime show, mm. I was fighting for my life. Mm. I have. I have oh, sorry, go on, sorry. Go on, no, no, no I have a question in regards to like, um, you know, American sports. They have this whole thing of, um, it's not like European football where it's elite of the elite, right? But there's still so many jobs available because of how big the continent yeah. is, and obviously like how big the, the entire the, the entire sport is, isn't it? Mm. But in American sports, yeah, it's the elite of the elite and there's mm. only a, like a small amount of jobs available, like yeah. like roster spots and whatnot. Yeah. So there's only, so multiply 53 <laughs> by 32. That's the amount of professional American footballers there is at any given time. In, uh, there's only 450 professional basketball players at any given time. In terms, and, and if you think about how NBA, big American... NBA, 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 yeah. The, the ratio is crazy. So how is it they still manage to find players in the league that are still not good like this person. No, who? Or, is, or, or is it? He's not good relatively. They're not good. Relative? They're not good compared to them. Ah, oh, is it relative? Okay. Yeah. But if Eli Apple was playing in the CFL or playing in the Arena League, the nigga would be the like Real Revis. Sanders, yeah, he'd be like the Real Revis. Yeah. Okay. But he's not. He's playing against the best of the best, yeah. and in the do you know what I mean? He's playing against the best. Of, it's, Plus, it's, also another thing as well, because because they go for the draft system as well. The draft is un, is, a, is is an inexact science. Mm. Nobody has perfected the draft. Yeah, I it's, like, it's a crap so shoot. Gonna, it's a crap shoot. So you're still gonna pick guys who look good in college. For some reason, their skills don't translate. It's, it's like I always say. If so a lot of these take... crap guys, they get exposed at the next level. Like okay, just 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 for instance, right? Um, Tom Brady's the greatest quarterback of all time. He was picked in the sixth round. Uh huh. Peyton Manning, okay, number one. Joe Montana was picked in the second or. Third round, no, no, third, third. Joe, Montana. Third, Joe, Montana. Joe, Joe Montana was a third round pick. Yeah. There's plenty of stories. Yeah, no, I mean, but it's, it's like more that. common than you think. Yeah. Yeah. Brett Favre was a late, was a late, was a level one who was a late round. There's, pick there's more well. on like, Rogers was there's, a late round pick. La, yeah, Rogers was one. I was say, yeah, late first round, late first round. But yeah. Brett, Brett Favre was second. But there's more undrafted people players in the in the Hall of Fame than his first round picks, first overall picks in yeah. the Hall of Fame. What's that? What's that guy's name that he went undrafted, but he was but he was really good for a short period of time. Um is it? It's not Ma- Michael Vick. Is that not not him? No, no Michael Vick was number one no. overall. Yeah. So this is a this is a guy. Oh, I forgot his name. He's Same a, draft as Drew Brees. He was he was he was with he was with Karuche for a while. Oh, Victor Cruz. Victor Cruz. Yeah, draft. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. He was. Yeah. Um, drafting is an inexact science. It's so a crapshoot. It's a crapshoot. Yeah, it's it's crap just, shoot. literally just literally like that. Actually, good like this. Having one eye open and picking players. I feel like rather obviously you get you get a sure thing. You get a Peyton Manning or an Andrew Luck or an Elway or a Miles Garrett. You get me. Mm-hmm. Well, um, no matter what, no matter where yeah, he goes, yeah. the guy's gonna pop. I think there's a lot of them in this draft class. Uh, I, Michael Parsons, Pat Sertan, there's a lot. Usually they're more defensive players. Uh, the can't miss dudes are usually defensive players because shit like athleticism translates. <coughs> like a guy like Miles Garrett or a guy like the Bosa brothers, mm-hmm. uh, um, Aaron Donald, they can't miss because of how athletic they are with them. People like Jake and Ramsey as well, I would, I would assume. J- Jalen Ramsey, well, I mean, that's. Corner, no, corner's now. Corner, corner's way more technical. I'll say corner's like one of the most hardest, hardest positions to play in sports right now, bro, because they're making it harder to, to cover as well. And to just Other than QB, yeah, corner's yeah. probably the hardest. I feel like when it comes to the draft, yeah, I feel like it's like, um, it's very much a, I don't want to say a social media thing, but it's very much a, you you can't ever show an, an off day on like film. Or like, you or like they, you can't ever see scouts ever have you see like your, your flaws. You only no, ever show is, your good parts. The thing is, time. no, the thing, thing is, they, um, you as a pro, um, prospect, you can't control your film because your film, that, the film doesn't lie. Yeah, it? film never okay, lies. Film, film don't lie lives. because the film, film is literally, you have a crap game, you have a crap game for whatever reason, it's going to be shown. Maybe, the only thing maybe, you control is how you are you producing a combine and how you cut your own film. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe not film, no. but I'm talking about like, like, like when they send film of training sessions, when they, when like, it's, it's a whole like campaign, do you know what I'm saying? Training sessions, um, like um, team training sessions, your your training session, like you you doing drills by yourself, like it's yeah. a whole campaign where you kind of show your best bits all the time. But the thing is, even even with that, there's still a catalog of of college games that scouts can go back and watch. Uh. Now you can manipulate your your ability or how good you are in terms of what you post and what you show on social media. But at the end of the day, well, if I'm the drafting scouts, a quarterback, you know, you're not there's still media, usually yeah. 20 to 20 or something games worth of college tape that is irrefutable. Yeah. Uh, tape is irrefutable. Yeah. You can put any any <clears throat> any quarterback, right? 
who, whether or not they start, any quarterback who's right now a professional in the NFL, you take them out to a park 100-yard field and get them, they can make any throw with no, DB, with no DBs and no pass rush, isn't it? Any quarterback in the NFL can make any throw, mm -hmm. but put a pass rush, put a DB, make them throw into a tight window. Yeah. The pocket's falling apart and Aaron Donald's two yards away from you. Can you still deliver that up? Do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I That's the that. stuff you see that. on tape. I get that. And you can't, you can't lie on tape. You can't lie. Do you know what I mean? That's like professional sports in general. All the guys that you think are terrible at shooting freezes in the NBA will make every free. That's what I'm exactly. saying. Like, and the guys in the Premier League who can't shoot, if you were to get most Premier League players, they could all hit the crossbar like that. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah. Like make them hit the crossbar from the, from the, from the halfway line 10 times. On average, they're hitting it minimum seven times. Even, even on a micro level, everyone has, 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 has had that friend, obviously, might not have gone pro, but they've been academy for so long. How better they are compared to you? To everybody yeah. else. Everybody else. They didn't go pro. Hey, even, yeah, 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 you know yeah. how live these players we call shit on the. How live they actually are, bro. Yeah, they are hard. Yeah, yeah. They're ridiculously hard, sure. good. Yeah, I get you. I get you. Just I get you. I get you. Comparison yeah. to cool. Henderson can be good as Messi, but yeah, but yeah, it's yeah, all, it's all, but it's like Henderson is. But, head, bro, but Henderson? Henderson's closer to Messi than will if, ever if, be to Henderson. If Henderson yeah, 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 yeah. If Henderson comes power league with me, he's looking like Messi. I told you that. <laughs> like, you, ever, you ever get that like one like um, see that guy that he didn't go pro, but he. He didn't well, didn't get the pro contract, but he's in power league and he's bossing it. Yeah, and you think, damn, like, why? Why are you? And he's pro? just going through the motions. Yeah, yeah. yeah you can tell he's just going through the like, motions. Like, no we're well, like, why? It. Why didn't you go pro? He's like, hey, you man are shit. I can't even. <laughs> but we're not. A lot, we're not, a lot of times we're not shit. Not, but but on the scale of relative where you to him, need to yeah, be, yeah. like you're just not. It, yeah. but it, it gets it's fine margins why a lot of them don't make it though in a lot of times it's yeah. fine margins in it like, and it, it's a lot of them it's just enough, you know not big enough Aye. not quick enough not it's, it's enough. A, oh just not good but let's like, be didn't you see like that not good enough let's, let's, let's the, be real man. You, ain't, you ain't see the Declan, Declan Rice interview nah my brother didn't man. play one minute of Sunday League football his I think he said his cousins had hey, for Chelsea before now something I think yeah for Chelsea's and um, his cousin, his cousin was like to the scouts, like, nah, like you need to See get this play, yeah. get this play on there. And he was like, oh, who does he play for? We we'll look for him. He's like, nah, he doesn't play Sunday League. You know, not that sounds like he doesn't play Sunday League, but he's ready. And then there was like, oh, yeah, how was he already good enough? No, but he was, but, there, but, but he, he was, was there from, from young for like pre academy days. No, he, no but he was doing, he was doing training by himself yeah. and like um, development, um, yeah, development stuff. But even to say oh, he hasn't played, he hasn't played an actual match. And then they was like, ah, oh, just bring him in. Just bring him in. But then apparently he bossed it. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it takes that one lucky thing, I guess. It's, it's not, that's not, I don't say that's luck though. I feel that that's talent that, that just met opportunity. No, but it's nepotism though. It's, it's nepotism, but if, got if, him in the door. if he wasn't good enough to play at that level, they wouldn't have kept him. Sometimes, sometimes. Wait, like, wait, like wait, for wait, instance, wait, for instance wait. yeah, Rob Romeo Beckham, yeah, probably has the most, like, not the most, but he has an incredible amount of, Nepotism afforded to him, yeah. And even he couldn't really stay in Arsenal Academy. Like, he wasn't that good, yeah. Even truth was wasn't, wasn't that good, yeah. You get but to a certain point, then then it Roberto Mancini the releases his own son, but it gets to the Who? point. Roberto Mancini, your son was like in the Man United. Man, um, was it Mancini or Pochettino? One of the two. Um, their son was in their academy and they released him. He just wasn't good enough. Let me see you at dinner time. It's long. <laughs> Let me yeah, see you. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I'm I'm to I don't to need to kick bull, bro. I'm snitching to mom. What are you talking about? I'm snitching to mom. What are you talking yeah. about, bro? But at the same time, they were, saying, hell. they were saying Declan Rice didn't get offered a pro. He got offered a scholar. And then that's but, when... No, but he got released way before that, though. But I'm saying after he didn't get offered a pro, anyway. he got, that's when he started get. He got that little... That dog in him. But then it it, it kind of was like, ah, oh, he got given, what, six, seven years to prove himself. Some people don't got two yeah. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's, bro, like, a lot of guys get released in six months, bro. Bro, six weeks. Certainly. Actually, you're shocked, but a lot of guys yeah, yeah. sign. So, sign what? Some niggas get short leash, bro. Yeah, bro. Mm. It's, it's, it's cutthroat, man. The business is cutthroat, bro. That's why I hate when people are always talking about loyalty, bro. These, these, like, these clubs aren't loyal to the players, There's right? absolutely nothing I'm loyal but to. But there's, no, there's no such thing as that. It doesn't I'm not loyal to women. Listen, like, I'm even, not loyal to work. <laughs> you're not, you're not, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna see the game. The game is so <laughs> different. You're not gonna see, like, look at, for instance, look at Sancho. Mm -hmm. Right, how he left Man City. He walked into, well, I don't know if it was him or his representatives. They went and said, look, we want to play. Pep was like, I'm not going to play you. I don't think you're ready. Well, like, we've got a squad. He said, right, I'm walking. Mm -hmm. Literally. Right. Now, back in, and he was like 17, 18 when this happened. 17, yeah. 16 years. Now, back, back when. And the thing is, he'd only leave. He left and left the country as well. Yeah. It's like, I'm going to play. Cause but what, I know what he ready. did was good because he kind of started he that. Opened a wave, yeah. he, opened, he opened the doors for other young English talents to, to do go that. Thing, cause especially England players, especially compared to, in comparison to Europe. A lot of them are don't look at look at just look at the England squad. Trouble. Other than like Trippier, 
who's come back to the, to England now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who who plays outside of England? Well, there's been a lot of them. And I always say that that's that's something that's held England back is not having players who yeah, play, well, abroad. play abroad. I think Owen was, culture, bro. I, right Owen, now, I think Owen Hargreaves was like the first nigga I knew. That guy was English by accident. Be- yeah. <laughs> well, wait, wait, he was from Canada. Was he English, bro? He was from Canada. He's like Canada. He's from Scottish. He's dad's American. I know. I know. Like he's like a wicked England. Paul Paul Lintz played for Inter. We're struggling for midfielders. Yeah, Paul Lintz. Paul Lintz played for Inter for a bit. Obviously, Owen and Beckham. And, mm. but McManaman played it McManaman played, played for, but it's literally, for a bit yeah like there's been times when obviously when I, when I was, was when I played, took, took it football, football seriously a lot of that the a lot of the the international players innit they all, they all travel all around innit but you, you know, know what is, not, I think I think it's the English culture of um, why am I going to leave everything's here not plus, even you know, it, also there's a lot of plus, I remember I got offered um, um, like a scholarship deal up for a team in Spain but it was literally like the money is peanuts yeah, it's peanuts. I'm thinking I'm not gonna leave thing. You're not gonna uproot your whole life. It's you about it. the thing yeah, is, it's, 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 de- it's definitely the English culture. You see how like when we go on holiday and we rock up to middle of nowhere, mm. you speak English. You speak English, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm thinking you can't rock up to someone's country and then some I some some some, speak, some, some, you, innit? some English people are like oh, nobody speaks English. You know, so mad as well. There's people you, who've like pulled too much in it. You in Mexico? Wait, 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 wait. You pulled you pulled too much in it. Huh? You did, innit? Uh, I saw your face. Nah, nah. Yeah, hold that. Nah, carry on, carry on, carry on. You know, you know those people that's been living in like, places like Benidorm, Tenerife, and that Mallorca yeah. for like 20, 30 years, they retired, still can't speak a lick of Spanish. I'll be real with you, though, G. That's very I was, ignorant, I think, man. I'll be real, though. I went to, well, last time, I went to Marbella, innit, in May of 2019. Everyone was speaking English. No, but I'm saying, but I'm saying there's even places like where, you know, boom. But that's like a, that's like a tourist. Everyone's speaking English. Yeah, no, too, yeah. Everyone. But I'm like, saying like, me not knowing Spanish wasn't a hindrance at all. No, but same. It's actually place same Madrid. Yeah. Billion for twenty plus years. You still don't know a lick of. That's like Gareth Bell. Shout out to my nigga Gareth Bell. He when, didn't want to. He didn't want to learn that. Lick of Spanish. When I went to Germany, everyone spoke English in um in the seventy seventy. Because in people in Europe um, and people in Europe take the second language uh, much more seriously than we do. do you know what? Yeah. Because obviously, yeah. What, like, you haven't learned Spanish or French in, in school in it yeah. up until year nine. Then obviously year ten, they then stop. you stop. You pick, unless you want to carry on. And even then, it's like you're learning like sentences. You're not actually yeah. learning. But the, the, thing, the English thing is really good the as thing, well. The thing is, good. yeah, with like foreign players, to be successful, you're going to need to learn how to play English. Because either way, even though we're not the biggest country, America, you need to speak English. And then like, when you're trying to be a media image or brand, you're going to need to learn how to speak a little, a little yeah. bit of English. Us, we can be ignorant and just be like... Yeah, but they get to English from literally from five up until 18. We get taught mm. as a language from 12 up until to 14. Like, you see yeah, you yeah. see how like America's very... And, and, things, and the thing is, how, did anyone take those language lessons seriously? Not really. No, no. Exactly. I just wanted to go to Spain. You, know, <laughs> how, like, you see how like America's very like self-centered and they think the world around them, yeah? yeah. I think English people are like that to a certain yeah, like, where, yeah, where like a lot of the players, even though you've played against like um, international teams and stuff all your life, yeah. You might not know how that league operates because it's like in Germany, like in this league, yeah, it's very much like PMP in it. Like it's very much like y- your physical stature does a lot for you in it. You know what I'm saying, but in Germany, it's not so much like that. A lot of them are very slim and very fragile, but it's more like about if you know where to be at the, at the right time at all the time. Like, I think t- the, t- the t- Germany teams that were good, especially the ones that I grew up watching, they were quite physical, man. Um. Like who? Go on. I need to, I need like to, those, those, those teams that um when Balak was the heart of those midfields. Balak, um, close. What's yeah, yeah. Uh, Balak, Schweinsteiger, close. Uh, these are physical teams. Um, what's it, what, what's the name? Um, what's the striker? Karamani. Oh. Sorry. No, no. Oh, but if but if we're talking about the, those, those are the teams that dominated, right? But if yeah. you're talking about the like like the league as a whole wide. Yeah. Yeah, they may not always be as as physically imposing. Yeah, I think you know the Premier League and the French league are the most physically imposing leagues. Like yeah. the midfielders and the defenders in the French you're not, league. You're not shifting Abu Bakari, bro. Yeah, bro. If I, if I, when I went... Just best, best, best Senegalese best French, bro. bro. When when I, best Senegalese when went, French. And... When I went to... um, When I was in Germany for a while, I was playing at some semi-pro team, yeah? Yeah. And even at that level, a lot of these guys are really, really good. It's just that they have bad habits. They just drink all the time, yeah? yeah. But they're really good. Yeah. And it's, it's a case of... Every training session was more of a case of, like, being where you're supposed to be at... at and Position, the yeah. The game's the very cerebral for them. It's very tactical all yeah. the time. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not so much, oh, um, you need to learn how to shield this player and do this. It's yeah. like, your body shape's got to be like this at this point and da 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 Like, it's very tactical for them. So it's a bit different. I think I Spain were like that as well. Spain mm. at their apex were like that as well, especially with the brand of football they played. Even mid for Spain just got lucky the golden generation. Yeah, they, they just, they they just yeah, they were mid. They were mid and they're mid now. Everyone but has a golden generation. Yeah. Ah, so. England kind of having a, um, a resurface because obviously there's yeah. so many from like under 17s upwards to the first team. They're just poorly managed. But poorly, poorly managed. Actually, the thing is, you, you get a semi final and a final. 
Cool away one, that's yeah. that's results. Yeah. But this, the but, talent, but, the talent pool of players, English players uh, that Paul, we have, you say, you is say, ridiculous. It's wait, 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 wait. You say look at the semi final final. If you look at the games, England was shit. Hey, they got to him, man. Results is results. Like, it is the results Port- business, Port- bro. Right, Portugal won the the, the um, Euros. The Euros. They were shit. But yeah, the thing but, is that England, it, even after all that, people are still calling for Southgate's job. So what does that say? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't believe just because you got a certain place. It doesn't, it doesn't mean shit to me. Yeah, I mean, where was what to I'm, a I'm, semi? I'm, I'm yeah, but the thing is, is, it's compared to playing good and, and, and not getting and not getting also. There's times with England. Remember the you get cool finals, cool finals. But the thing is, we've seen we've seen teams we've seen teams do both. Why can't you not play good football and win it or yeah. and get to a final? Oh, yeah, man, no. We like saw that, Spain like, do it. Like we saw team. Germany do it for twenty. Germany, my whole life. Mm. Germany from from the from when my dad was younger, like. Just efficiency. No, in the eighties and the seventies, no, like saying, up like, until obviously, I'm not the biggest guy. Southgate okay, fan. I'm just saying, like the results show, he's he's got a semi final and to a yeah. final. Not good enough for me. I just but feel like we. Not good for what, bro? I'm not going to get Southgate. England weren't doing shit. No, but listen, I, it's, it's it's funny you even say that. Watching it, and good it's funny how this has turned into like a football episode. We yeah. ain't gonna get no one listening to this, but <laughs> no. But it's funny you say that because I remember when I was in um when I was in school. I think I was in sixth form. We were doing like a a, a national study on like coaching. And like the infrastructure of culture in this country, in comparison to other countries, and I don't remember the exact numbers, but this is just—I'm just using random numbers to showcase the gaps. This is kind of roughly what it was. It was like, for instance, England have like two and a half thousand licensed coaches, but Germany had like nine thousand. Mm-hmm. Spain had damn near twelve thousand. Do you know what I mean? There's things like yeah, that. Yeah, I know. I know. I think yeah. you know the reason for that. Coaching is cheaper there. The co- to get a coaching badge is much cheaper. Well, that's a good thing. No, because, yeah, I'm saying, yeah, it's much, I'm saying, because like, some of the some of the best minds are probably the people who can't afford to. Bro, like, I mean? like a UEFA A badge is like four bags, a thing like, yeah, yeah bro, it's P so here. just a but qualified in, coach But out in Europe, it's yeah. much cheaper. I think the gap might have been a bit smaller than that, but my, my point is that right, like, there's a big gap yeah, between the qualified good. coaches, like the, the better mm-hmm. footballing nations. I'm obviously, when, like, when we were doing this study, it was during Spain's golden generation, isn't it now? Mm-hmm. Even just the nuance of, like, for instance, we talk about England, right? And the, like going into a game with a midfield of Declan, Declan Rice and Jordan Henderson. Okay, now Spain. Yeah, that, wait, did, did Declan Rice play in the in the, in the World Cup? Did he was play? starting. He started down there every game, not in the World Cup, in the Euros. Yeah, but Henderson didn't play Euros. He was coming off the bench a lot, and it was either him or it was Declan Rice and Calvin Phillips. My point is this: we look at that, yeah, and n- let's not even look at the quality of player in it because I'm not saying that Declan Rice and such should be compared to Busquets and that. I'm saying the profile. England. When have England ever had like a Busquets or an Alonso? Carrick, but they didn't use him. I mean, Carrick, pro- profile wise, okay, profile wise, Carrick, yeah. But they didn't use it. Exactly, misused, right? They were trying to shoehorn Ger- Gerard Scholes and Lampard into the same midfield, playing Scholes on the left and that. Just to, they, my point is that they always prioritise personnel over tactics. The smart thing would to have been just playing Carrick in a, in a, in a midfield three with, with Gerard and, who are, and who are, whoever, do you know what I mean? But it was always, no, we need to make sure we have the biggest names and the best players in the team, mm. even if it was to the detriment because you're sacrificing tactics. Do you know what I mean? Because mm. England have never really prioritised tactics it's always been no we have all these quality players and we're just better than everyone else let's just stick everyone on the pitch and blah 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 and it'll mm-hmm. work out it's, it's like no it's not always going to work like that do you know what I mean like you can't go into a, a, a tournament with a two man midfielder Gerard and Lampard you need who's going right. who's going to protect the back four you need a system do you know what I mean you right. need a Michael Carrick or you need a Gareth Barry or you need a you know what I mean they might no, not be the sexiest d- players no, <laughs> but they do the thing they yeah. do the job yeah wait, you, you need I, a system nah, Gareth Barry played and he got riz by Ozil bro <laughs> you, you need the uh-huh. system yeah and, 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 you back, need, and you need particular players that the do the like job in that said system, system innit? you need That's specific players that do that job it's like it's like it's like when Pep dropped the auditorium for Busquets it wasn't a popular decision, but it worked because profile wise, that's what he needed. Like, yeah, Torre at the time was a better player than Busquets at the time, mm-hmm. right? But profile wise, it's not what Barcelona. You no, know, so mad though. Like, the thing is, obviously, with me, when Yaro Torre came to England, I thought because he played that centre back a lot for for Barcelona as well because he couldn't get into midfield. I know, but so, <laughs> so I'm thinking, so I'm seeing like, dude, Moroni, I'm thinking. You acted different. <laughs> yeah, like this before. No, but he's he's always been that level. Of me personally, over it, over it. Me, me personally, well, he might be a top five or six before in Premier History. Me he's not better than he's not better than Gerard. He's not better than um Scholes. He's not better than Vieira. I'm not getting that. After any, he's fair game after that, but he's not better than any of them three. He's definitely not better than Vieira. Dude. Um, Torre definitely not better than Vieira. I didn't say Vieira. Not man. better than Scholes. He had a, be- he had a better peak. He had a better peak. Me personally, Vieira made six team of the years in a row. What do you mean a better peak? What? Vieira made six um, team, of the, team of the seasons in a row. I'm, saying, I'm telling you, Vieira, but like, me watching Yaya yeah, 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 he had no, a bit No, 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 I don't think. Yeah, he had, he had, he had a bit of But I'm just saying, when he came to I'm England, saying, yeah, I'm, I'm saying he was doing things that I didn't even know he could do, bro. Like, you give me 
after that, after that season, was it, after that season you had 13-14. After that season. How long was he in England for? He had two good seasons, two great like, seasons. He was, he was in two great for seasons. He in for He's in England for what, five, 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 six years? He had two yeah, great seasons. I want to say 10-11 and no, 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 no. 11-12 and 13-14 were his two great seasons. As a whole, if you if you want to say peak for peak, that's kind of unfair because that's a skewed argument. Because then I can say, do you know what I mean? That's a skewed argument because then you can kind of twist that to suit whatever player you want. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of not. If you okay, someone gave you, someone said, you know, you have you you want you want a mid, you want an eight in your midfield, in it, yeah, an eight. And you have, what formation am I playing? Um, like I'm tired of the football talk, man. Four four two. I, I want Patrick Vieira. No, hey, not wait, Gerard, wait, I'm talking wait. about Gerard and wait, Torre. And they gave Stephen Gerard. Yeah, Stephen can, I, Gerard. Can, I, can I divert this? Sorry, oh, God, divert. Like, we've been talking about football for time. No, 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 no. It's all footballists. It's but you, like that, you, you, you niggas want to talk about squirting and... No, yeah? That's what we're here for, bro. Wait, 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 we'll get that <laughs> to that later. Like, we'll get to the other podcast, man. No, no, no. We'll get, we'll get into later. You, you see what John Terry's doing? With the NFTs. Nah, just... Why is he's not... He's not going to get this racism off. No, 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 no. It, it's pissing me <laughs> off. He's off one, so one way or another. So, he's he's going to have that smart racism. He's going to have to get off one way or another. I'm, I'm leaving it with something. Is it racist? Is it not? He's trying to get off that. No, 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 no. no. The ambiguous Man, racism, isn't it? It's ambiguous. He's trying to be cute with it. Where's the tax on? Yeah. I hate cute niggas. You know what, yeah? Free tax. He still hasn't apologised to Anton Ferdinand. I'm thinking... And he wants to be putting Tammy Abraham on, like, monkey NFTs. I'm like, yo, hey. John Terry, if you see this, yeah, we we see you. We see what you're doing. We do. Like, nah, that what he's doing is nasty. I'm I am i do not care. What he's doing is is it's a nasty That reminds me, so to NFTs, yeah. I saw like a thing, a guy, um, a girl, she, um, she's a black woman, she has a, a white guy, like a boyfriend or whatever. Oh no, he got her an NFT that's a monkey. <laughs> a, but monkey didn't look like her. Oh, it's an oh, NFT. She, you know she, she spent bags in that and like, I, was, I thought you like it. And she's know, like, is it racist? Is it not? It kind of is. It kind of. Do you know? Do you know what? Yeah. Someone, someone messaged me about NFT. He was like, "Ah, oh, can you push it?" And then I was like, "What?" I don't even know what this is. And then I was like, "I was like, ah, oh, what is it?" Yeah. And then that was like, "Ah, oh, so and so is pushing it." And then I was like, "Brother, if I ever tweet about NFTs, yeah, I, f- I'd feel bad if I'm like to people, hey, go grab this NFT, and I don't even know what NFTs. Stand I don't know what NFTs are. So I was like, yo." Not gonna lie, I don't know what NF- NFT is. I ain't gonna push. Oh, give me the bag, I'll push it. Like, you know what? Do you want push crack? Like, but you know what? Yeah, I know. As far as I know, it's just it's, just, it's, it's internet art. As yeah, yeah, but I'm saying, f- your instance, they were like, oh, you get a hold of the NFT and then whatever it makes. So how does it? What's 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 stopping me from me just saving the picture? Like, I don't understand how it works. But but no, even but wait 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 wait. Didn't so- I think Soldier Boy sold his tweet as an NFT? Which tweet? Oh, he's, had, he's, all, but, he's, had, he's had many, but I, I think there's a lot. Hmm? You can tell. Right, you can... I'm looking to my look to my, my portfolio. Bro. Nigga, you ain't got no good content. Wait, what, yeah, what are you yeah. talking about? I've had some tweets that hit that that, that hit. No, 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 you're not sharp. Nobody search for Chino. No, tweets, nobody's bro. searching for you anymore. You rub. Hey, Chino slander. Yeah, hey, but hey, your tweets. Hey, no, hey Chino, I'm different now, man. Chino's been rough for about two, three years. He he found God and everything. We're like, get this nigga out of here, man. May sauce, nigga. Hey, you got in a relationship? Hey, boo, this nigga, bro. Hey, I left the roads, man. I left the roads, guy. Hey, he's that ex nigga come from prison talking about hey my brother. <laughs> yeah, hey, fuck out of here, man. Not to go back. Man, we eating bacon. Well, shut the hell up, man. <laughs> hey, you, you, know, you, you, you don't want me to tweet like it's 2015. I stuff for a lot, bro. Like, it's too much, man. Nah, yeah. Too much. I, even I don't even tweet like it's 2015. Like, you yeah, mean? But you tweet like it's the fucking Stone Age. Hey, you know, <laughs> hey, do you know what? Yeah, if niggas ever seen my, my, my account when I was just tweeting, hey, hey, hey. Hey. What's cracking? Take me away. Hey, 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 hey. I promise you. I'm going to say this and save it. If any tweets ever of mine come out in the next two, three years, yeah, and you ask me to apologise, I am not apologising unless there's a bag. If there's a bag there, I'm apologising. Then posting this video. (laughs) Because... If I said it, I kind of meant it. Uh, How you mean? No, but sometimes, yeah, even stuff like people getting cancelled, like Rashford with Wiley. Bro, when he made that apology... I was thinking, bro, you're saying sorry to a bunch of people who don't even watch you play football, who don't even care about what you're doing. Because the only reason why they care about you is because you're a national hero, which he is. I can't lie. As soon as I saw the picture, while I knew, I knew, I knew straight away. Yep, he's, but, gonna, take, he's gonna have to apologize because I knew they're gonna. But, get but, but, but oh, everything's optics, especially when you're public. Did Lingard apologize? That's the thing. Nobody cares about Lingard. But that's the thing. No. But no, but no, but 
I, I don't know. Not that I don't care about him, but I but, care. Yeah, Lingard kind of apologized after that. I didn't know. I don't. But at the, at the same time, it's... At the, it's like me personally, the certain people are angry no, no, around. No, no, but if, 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 there's a point in time as a black, fo- as a black footballer, you got you to gotta choose what side you're on. Because now, I personally, if I'm with Wiley and I post up a picture of Wiley, I ain't saying sorry because, first of all, you lot ain't even checking for me like that. Like, you lot don't care about me personally because you're just mad because I'm with so-and-so. Do you know how many celebrities have pictures with people who shouldn't be mentioned? Yeah. Do you think they should be mentioned? Like, saying sorry. Yeah. It, got, it gets to a point where you, you're either with us and you not saying that you should like double back on what he said, you should just ignore it. Because more time, I see Rashford apologize. Like he just I'll be apologizing for everything now, man. But yeah, yeah get, like even even not even the, like black footballers. Remember when Phil Foden, his um management said uh he, he was facing, I think, Neymar or um, M- Mbappe. Yeah, and he was looking forward to us. He was like looking forward to it. And then everyone was like, oh, da, 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 da. But people were loving it, but though. People were loving it. And then next day, he was like, yeah, sorry, I sacked my um, PR team, whatever. I'm thinking, what? Like, what? what? So what, Man City got drawn against PSG, and then... He said something cheeky. He said, like, yeah, like, um, I look forward to a, um, a player. Like, yeah, yeah. A young, like a young boy talent. Yeah, yeah because, like, Phil Foden and Mbappe both yeah. coming up, it was, like, looking forward to it. And I think it was, like, a picture as well, of them head-to-head. Yeah. And then um, he was like, oh, so sorry. Um, what's wrong with what he tweeted? What, what were people saying? But there was a saying, like, oh, it's kind of cheeky. Yeah. Like, but the thing They're is... Like, cocky, and, whatever. And people yeah, turn yeah, around yeah. and say stuff like, oh, footballers don't have personality. Well, this is why. Yeah, but... It, a, but in look, a large section of the of the demographic, especially the match going fans, don't want him to have a personality. Yeah, but it comes to it comes to the point where someone needs to come through, like unapolo- unapologetic. Football, football them. needs an Allen yeah. Iverson, man. Yeah, like because it's mad boring. Football needs an Allen Iverson. Because I can't lie, you need someone take the lumps for everyone else to come yeah. through. Yeah, I can't lie. I'm tired. I don't watch interviews anymore because it's boring. It's same, yeah. yeah, but like, like even the young bro- the one young brother, I forgot his name. And he was just talking like the, he was on road. Like, the, he was like, brother, I was like... The, the, the Leeds nigga? Huh? The nigga from Leeds? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was just like, yo, I'm so excited. Like, this thing's a madness. Yeah. And I'm thinking, now I can relate. Yeah. But now it's like... They get, then they get media trained. Then they get I media like, trained. When they first get interviewed, they're, they're kind of raw. And like, then they get media yeah. trained. It's, it's all like... I understand well, media trained. Like It's all the same thing. Yeah, we're looking mm, forward to like it. If uh, any of... If points. anything against bottom of the league, Burnley, who got six <laughs> points, she had a good side. But any of like, us, yeah, like say if we went into like the limelight, yeah. we'd need to be media trained to a certain extent. Because we can't be... You can nigger well, it up. I like, but you it. Can't I like how the, the NFL do it. Like even the coaches in the NFL have um have personality. Like um, who's that guy that they just hired? The Dolphins just hired. Oh, Mike 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 Williams. Yeah, so he that, that, he that, that, he was um nigga. he he was doing an interview before the Rams played the 49ers, and the guy who was interviewing him Mike was Mike it? Jones. Mike, was, Mike Jones. Mike Jones. But it's like Lamar even did that. Uh, Lamar did that as well. Didn't oh, Lamar. he did it to the yeah. same yeah. nigga. Lamar did it before though. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. But it's things like that. There's no personality. Like. There's NFL, no NBA, per- they got personality. Yeah, there's bro. no personality it, in 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 um um football. football. No, it's no personality. It's boring, it's boring. It's so much personality in um. Like, you see, you, you see how they reacted when um when Emil Smith Rowe done that interview, and he just they were like, "Why is he talking? Like, why is he talking like that?" Yeah, yeah. Like, it was just I'm like, like ah. a London guy, bro. Yeah. It was like, "Oh, why is he talking like um, a like man. a road man?" Brav, I said, Rare. "I said it just it just needs that one person to come through and just be like, yo, this is me.'" I don't even... I think w- that person will take a lot of lumps. Wait, they'll be taking a lot of lumps. Lump, but they need to be wavy. <laughs> hey, Smith, bro. Oh, is that where he's from? Oh, he's from like Croydon, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah he's from Croydon. Croydon, KDB, that's what they called it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think he was talking about like when he used to go to Morley's and all that. And oh, is it? That was like, yo... You know, I saw Morley's in my life for the first time in December. Morley's? Can't even it's a south thing, isn't it? We don't yeah. really have it over here like that. No, nah, we got it yeah. north. They 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 ventured over to north. There's oh, there's Moolies in north. No way you still eat from chicken and chip shops on that. Huh? No way you still eat from chicken and chip shops on that. I am. If I'm lit. If of I, course you are. If I'm nigga, so let me get mayonnaise with a side of wings. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. If I'm, if I'm, li- I can't lie though. <laughs> that picture's egregious. <laughs> egregious. Forget the picture. The session though, I was crazy, bro. Yeah, you look. You did. You look.